everyone, thank you so much for watching. So today I'm going to be recreating my current favorite makeup look that I've been wearing for weeks and weeks and weeks and I've been wearing it in my previous videos. So to get started, this is kind of set up like a get ready with me, but I'm still going to be telling you guys what I'm doing and what I'm using. So here we go. The first product I'm using is a paint pot from MAC and it's in Painterly. This is going to help our eyeshadow stay on even longer and it also conceals my eyelids because they are veiny and red. Next I'm going to take Too Faced Eyelid Primer and this is going to help our eyeshadow stay on even longer so I'm just patting it on my eyelids very very lightly and I'm also going to put it underneath our eyes as well because we're going to be applying shadow there too. Now let's get started with the eyes. So I'm zooming on in and I am taking the first shadow and applying it all over my lid and this is Mary Kay's eyeshadow in Honey Spice. This color looks absolutely gorgeous on every single eye color. I love it, love it, love it. And then to give our eyes a little dimension, I'm taking a dark chocolate brown. This is called Cinnabar, and I think it's going to be discontinued soon, so if you guys want this color, you need to get it soon. Um, I am applying that with a contour eyeshadow brush and doing it on the outer corners of our eyes, kind of like smoking it out a little bit. Then to blend it out and so we don't have any harsh lines, I'm taking this color in Hazelnut, which I honestly believe it's a dupe for Naked because I can't find any other color than Naked and I swear to you, this color is so similar if you're wanting a cheaper dupe. Okay, so I'm taking my fluffy brush and just lightly blending into the crease. Not going onto my lid, not going on the outer parts of my eyes, just in the crease, very, very light handedly. Now we could have lost some of that color while we were blending, so I'm taking that Honey Spice color and reapplying it to our lids so that our eyes look much more awake. Now let's get started on foundation. So I already put a face primer on, and I am taking a matte foundation, and kind of like a kabuki brush, and I am patting it into my skin. Now I know that this color does not look like it matches me at all. It could be the lighting, but honestly, it matches my body. I do not self-tan my face, at least I am thinking about doing it, but I haven't yet. So my face is so much paler than my body, so I swear to you, it matches, I promise. So what I like to do is actually pat the foundation and then blend it out, like buff it out. And then I'm gonna wait for this first coat to dry and then I do a second coat on the outer perimeter of my face because that is where I have some of my acne scarring still. So I like to apply a second coat on the outer parts of my face just because I have scarring and just make sure that's extra, extra covered up. Now to set our foundation, I'm using a loose translucent powder. So if you get translucent, it looks good on every single skin tone, um, especially if you go tanning and your skin tone is changing a lot, getting something that's translucent is perfect. So I'm taking a big puffy, uh, fluffy brush and doing that. Now I am concealing dark circles, blah, 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 just lightly patting it underneath my eyes. And then I'm taking this amazing highlighting pencil that I use in absolutely every single makeup tutorial and I'm highlighting my inner corners of my eyes and underneath my brow bone so that our highlight eyeshadow has something to stick to. Now I am filling in my eyebrows, nothing special, and we will come back to the highlighting in a minute. I like doing my brows and my lashes first. So I'm curling my eyelashes and we're actually going to be applying fake eyelashes but what I like to do is actually apply a little bit of mascara just because I don't like applying false eyelashes and then putting mascara over them because then you don't get as many uses out of your false eyelashes. So the ones I use are Ardell 108s. They're so natural looking, I absolutely love them. And then I'm applying a light coat of mascara on my lower lashes. Now I am ready to do the highlight. So this color is Sweet Cream, I had to think for a second, and I just took a flat brush and applying it underneath my brow and my, in my inner tear ducts. Okay, now it's time to contour. I like taking a small fluffy brush and just going in the hollows of my cheeks up to my temples because I think you get a nice precise line and I kind of like a harsh contour. So this is a medium to dark bronzer that has a little bit of shimmer in it. Now I'm kind of weird and I just like this e.l.f. powder. It is so soft and I just like it to use as a bronzer for my neck and my chest to just make me look a little more tan. Now for blush, I'm using a pinky coral blush. This is called Citrus Bloom. I love it. It just transforms the look. And I'm applying it on the apples on my cheeks, going 
to my ear and up my temples. And then I'm just reapplying concealer because I'm crazy. Now I completely forgot to apply eyeliner and I thought I would show you guys how to do it, but the angle wasn't set up right, I'm so sorry. So I am also taking a black eyeliner and putting it in my waterline to give it a more dramatic look. And then I just took whatever leftover eyeshadow was on that brush and put it on my lower lash line. Now this lip color I wore in one of my videos, How to Earn Fast Money, that, and you guys wanted to know what I was wearing, so I'm gonna show you two lip products. This is the one that I wore in the video. Yep, 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 just lip liner and lip gloss. And the second one is what I wear every single day. This lipstick is amazing, it's kind of coral based, and then this lip gloss looks good on top of every lipstick. And I just wanna show you guys what it looks like in natural lighting, because that lighting, was not doing it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it as a comment down below and I'll list all the products I use down in the description bar. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys later.